Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of First Impressions, or maybe a Let's Play here at Marauder. We'll see how this one goes. This is Ghost Runner, which is a new, like, fast-paced combat game from one more level, 3D Realms. I want to make sure I get them all. Slipgate Ironworks, and then published by 505 uh, and All In. So I'm very excited to check this one out. It kind of gives me vibes of, like, a mix of something like the pace of a Doom and the combat of, like, Shadow Warrior, which I was a big fan of. Uh, I'm very excited to check it out. Very excited to be terrible at it, and I'm very excited to do all that for you right now. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into a new game. I have not done a thing with this. It just came out minutes ago, uh, and I wanted to do it uh, in earnest. First play right here. Robot hand. Okay. Wish they'd let me kill that guy. All right. So, your implants are still adjusting to the software. I'm in a prison. I can calibrate only your basic protocols from in here. I'm wondering if this is going to make you all like dizzy as hell because it's so fast. Free whisper from his cell. Jump toward a surface to wall run. All right. There's some Titanfall. This is. Who's talking to me? Oh god. We've we've died. Let's see if we can't execute this wall room run a bit better. Why is there only certain walls we can stick to here? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or is maybe that's not my path, huh? Well, it seems like it is. Not. Okay, well that explains it. How's it going so far? Please let me up. See, this looks well runnable though, doesn't it? There it is. You just have to like really kiss it. All right. I wonder where that other direction would have taken me though. Or maybe there's just multiple ways to execute things. Yeah. The air duct. Up there, I guess. God, your software is a mess. I've rebooted your acceleration module. You should be able to squeeze through that. <laughs> you should be able to squeeze through that turbine. Excuse me. Okay, how do we make the jump? The oh, another wall jump. Okay, so no double jump. Keep that in mind. Shift while moving to dash. Yeah, well, I know. Oh, I say it's like a dodge. Okay. And that's our double jump, which I'm holding it down like it's a classic sprint button, but that makes sense there. All right. Can't make it that far. Got to remember, still got the wall jump. Got to put all the pieces together here. Might not have been a necessary dash. Goodness. Shift in the air to enter sensory boost. When in sensory boost, use A and D to strafe. Oh my sweet god. Wow. Excuse me. All right, let's try it again. I have heard you'll die a lot. I don't think they necessarily meant like right here, but I do want to go get this guy out of prison. See if he can make me better at this game. Okay. What else had a wall jump recently that I was a big fan of? Oh, oh, uh, fall in order. Maybe not a big fan, but a fan. I feel like this one's getting me ready for, uh... Oh, oh you can't even get hit once. Ooh, that's kind of fun. 
Alright, so that's another path. I'm a big fan of the like. Oh, he got me. That kind of feels like super hot. There we go. Oh, come on! He got me in the back. I like how you're going to have to like... I tried to wait till the last minute because I wanted to let it go like just in time to like truly get him. Where's the second freaking clown? All right, let's try going this way. Maybe we can clear it out a bit better. Got to stop being so conservative. All right. No, another guy. Or did that ricochet? Man, this is so fun. It's hard as hell, but it's fun. It just takes some getting used to these mechanics. Where you're like, you're gonna want to slow time, or you're never gonna get them. I need to remember, I don't necessarily need to slow time, fuck, to do everything, but... Like, I think you have, it seems like a level of iframes, maybe. Damn, I almost had him. Like, I think I just want to use the iframe. Like, let's see. Nope. I'm going to test it. Nope. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I need to get used to when to let go of that button. I'm gonna try going this way again. There we go, okay. Oh shit, that guy's still there. Fuck. Did I just fucking hit the bullet? This is freaking amazing. <laughs> this will be a full Let's Play on the channel. I can I already tell you right now. I mean, I want you to see all 7,000 deaths. Nope. Okay, let's try that again. I gotta remember the control to slide. I am sort of wondering would a controller be easier because of the movement mechanics, but... Then I'm like, for the combat, but it's not really a first-person shooter, so... The only problem I'm having is not knowing, like, where the enemies are, but it seems like... You know, the kind of game where you, you will kind of practice the dance... And then get the areas down. Kind of like a Celeste, almost. Which is very cool. Uh-oh. Now, are there upgrades and stuff? Alright. I'm slowing down. I want to make sure I know what's up. So far, I can't tell if there are like any secrets or anything. Seems like maybe not. The improv portion of combat is so interesting. Hmm. Two directions we can go here. I'm going this one. In this room is going to be a toughie. This game's incredible so far. It's just so good. I mean, it's all, all gas, no brakes. Are 
Oh, I got up on the freaking sign somehow. Where can I go from here? I can't remember. I gotta re I wanna gather myself while I can think. <laughs> okay, that's right, that's right. I'm gonna sneak up on this guy. The fluidity, like the speed runs of this game are gonna be some of the coolest stuff on the freaking internet. God. It's hard to land that and then hit shift in time. Because you, you, to find shift from control is tough for me. Ooh. I bet there are a lot of hidden areas, hidden, hidden areas, hidden areas and ways you can, uh, Do skips and stuff, whether by design or not, I'm not sure. All tenants are to remain in their homes. Alright, he's dead. Who's shooting at me still? Oh, there's one guy. Okay, I see him, I see him, I see him. Really? Oh no, it isn't. No, last guy. I'm definitely not convinced I'm taking like the optimized path per se. Who the fuck was that? This is so awesome. I've forgotten someone, but we're going to find him. Nice. So you have to clear everyone to get out, basically, is uh, how the progression seems like it'll work. Which is fair. Completely fair. Okay, so that's a, that's that level down. So even the level structure is similar to a Doom, it feels like. Okay. I probably should have read the tutorial there. Ah, okay, grappling points. So now we're going full Sekiro. I was just thinking, combat didn't seem fluid or open enough, so... Oh my god. The quick restart system, I mean, is like, it, it just makes it painless. I know y'all are at home watching, like, mm, it's not painless to watch you, you idiot. But, it's painless to be me, let me just tell you that. The improv of it, like when you're not sure where you're going next, is so, like, sweaty palm, but fun. I gotta figure out the best course of action here. That was gonna be fun. Gotta make more use of the air dodge, I think. Definitely doesn't feel like a game where it should be necessary for you to backtrack. Like, they've laid it out for you. They're like, don't fucking not use what we're giving you, my friends. Alright. For example, air dodge. I can't figure out how to get to that last thing. Like, I know that backtrack is unnecessary, so I want to figure out 
what I can do to not do it. Uh, grapple, I need you. Missed the last one. All right, but we're getting we're getting it down. Come on, come on. Oh, fuck! If you don't hit the grapple, it's not like painfully obvious. I don't want to make it to where I have to grab on. It slows me down. That's good stuff right there. Putting all the pieces together on the fly. Whew. Prisoner termination protocol initiated. I miss a I missed a hook, didn't I? Prisoner termination protocol initiated. That sounds like it'll be bad for me. I like the moments when you have like just a second to think. Like you definitely lose the fluidity of the combat, but there it, there's something nice about when you can just kind of be like, okay, where's the next guy? And then you put it all together at the end. There's a guy here. The grappling hook uh, murdered me. Picked me off the wall before I could even see him at that time. The learning curve is uh, steep, but very rewarding. It happened again. <laughs> I gotta be careful there. See me save that, Spider Man? Come on, I got out of the way of that, and you know it. Wow, that was uh, dizzying, but we have regained our composure. Alright, to regroup. I'm not sure how I get over there. Just a regular old dodge? What? Alright, where's this baddie? Tell you what, dude, <laughs> the adrenaline is real. Boss fight? Prisoner released. This game is amazing. It's just so fast, it's so Shadow Warrior. I mean, it doesn't have like as much option as far as like the combat itself. But that mixture of like a Shadow Warrior Doom meets Celeste, like redo rooms until you get it. Pleasure to meet you. Face to face, that is. Now, let's take a look inside. Oh my, very trippy. This may feel a little strange. Okay. Welcome to Cyberboy. Time to fix you up. I thought he just called me Cyberboy. Here, by the way. Who are you? Ooh, I have you a cool voice. Call me architect. Who am I? You're a ghost runner. Number 74, to be precise. That will have to do for now. Your physical body is vulnerable. Time runs slower here, but we should still hurry. Just keep moving. I will take care of your recalibration. Where am I moving to? Okay, following the invisible floors. Fight. Others like me. A fall 
you've been cast down from Dharma City to the uh. base district. It's a miracle to survive a fall like that. Even for someone like you. A ghost runner. Yes. You were bodyguards, peacekeepers, arbitrators, and anything else we needed you to be. You tried to stop the coup. I mean, where am I going right now, man? Any tips for me, architect? Into this light? Oh, that seemed good. This is to remind you this is a platformer. There was a woman. The name is Mara, or the Keymaster, as she calls herself now. Twenty years ago, she stood against me. It was you I was trying to save. You failed. I died. My body did anyway. Thanks to the precautions I had taken, I'm still here. Although this form has its limitations. I like how they have you do this platforming while they talk, so you don't get bored. Say that. Keeps my ADD in check. Dharma Tower is a skyscraper. Technically correct. What is the tower then? Humanity's home. A mega structure that once housed a million. It had been under my care <clears> since <throat> its creation. Almost a century ago. I served the people, kept them safe, maintained the shelter I provided. But Mara had her own plan. She became the sole ruler I want that key. of Dharma Tower, ruining what I built, bringing us back to the verge of extinction. Go back! I don't want to have to wait. It's interesting, these little, like, tiny puzzles. This is kind of reminiscent of, uh, control. Like, when you would go and get objects of power, you'd have to go deal with those little puzzle zones where you'd learn your new Metroidvania skills. I don't know if anything similar is happening here. I know 505 was involved, but I believe just as a publisher. So anyway, uh, I'm absolutely loving this. Like I said, it's definitely going to be a full less play for me now. I think it's only, like, a five- or six-hour game. Incompetent repairs you were subjected to God, that's cool. made you divergent. You no longer function like a ghost runner is supposed to. What's that supposed to mean? Change that. Can I get out to that? Who repaired me? That would be the climbers, a group of rebels that tried to oppose Mara. Where are they? Dead, I'm afraid. They've been killed before I managed to contact you. But there's no time to worry about them now. We're almost done here. Press on. We needed to build this so you'd have something to do while you listen to the story. Which genuinely I like. If it had just been straight exposition, I probably would have snoozed through it. Um, that's not to say I have like a full understanding of what's happening. But it was fun to have something to do in the meantime. There goes my little guardian fairy. So, I can now get across. Fuck. End up, it looks like. And I think once I do that, that'll be the end of this first episode. But like I said, this is going to be like a hybrid of like a first impressions and an episode one of a Let's Play. So if you want to see more Ghost Runner, come back tomorrow. We're going to have it. I will be playing this to completion. I was stabbed in the back. We both were, you and I. Who was she? Was... A dear friend, a trusted partner, a brilliant scientist. Who is she now is the question you should be asking. And do you like the answer? No one among the people of Dharma Tower will. Oh, I need more answers. And you will get them. Oh, I'm now, just go there. Trust me, the Keymaster is your enemy and a tyrant. Why can't I get over there? There we go. You have to hit it with like a bit of a running start, huh? Bing. So the Keymaster is a tyrant? Is that what I'm supposed to have gathered just now? I'm going to have to like regroup on the story when I'm able to pay a little more attention. I'm not. I mean, that is the downside. I was saying it gives me something to do, but I also was focused on something other than what you were saying. It might have, might have been intended to be mindless, but not for me, my friend. Not for me. Kill Mara, of course. To be able to do that, 
You'll have to relearn a few things. Anyone think the architect is an untrustworthy the narrator? But first, John, we need to get back. And it's much quicker this way. And that'll be the end of the level. Like I said, that's where we're going to stop the episode for now. That is Ghost Runner. If you all like it, it is on sale for 20% off actually on Steam right now. Normally it'll be 30 bucks, but right now it's $23.99. If you liked what you saw, I highly recommend grabbing this one. It looks awesome. Visuals are awesome. Voice acting is awesome. The combat's awesome. It's super fluid. Um, again, I didn't get a code or anything for this one. I played it because I liked it. So uh, I, I liked what I saw, but that like sort of cyberpunky. Celeste meets Shadow Warrior meets Doom. If that's your cup of tea, highly recommend you get in there and grab it. Uh, it's out now on Steam. Uh, let me verify for you if it's out on other platforms as well. Uh, I believe it is out on consoles as well. Um, yep, everything. Actually, even says Switch. That's interesting. I'm not sure if it's out already. PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One. I guess Switch to come maybe down the line. Uh, so go ahead and grab it if you all are interested. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, remember there will be more. We're going to be doing a full Let's Play of Ghost Runner. We hope to see you there. I hope you guys liked this episode. If you did, hit the like button. It helps out a lot. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. New content every single day. We'd love to have you on. Let me know in the comments what you think of this game and how it's going for you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again next time.